Hello and welcome to the Alanya Properties YouTube channel. I'm sure you all know me by now. My name is Victoria. Today we're going to be speaking with Rob and Jackie who have chosen to buy their home in Turkey through Alanya Properties. We're going to be discussing their life in Turkey and how COVID-19 has affected them. Hi Rob and Jackie, thank you for taking the time to talk to us. Uh, a lot of our followers are wondering what life in Turkey is like for the expats and how COVID-19 has affected us. Let's start from the very beginning. How did you decide on Turkey and what made you choose Alanya in particular? After holidaying here for several years, I decided I'd like to buy a home here to retire to. So my sister and I both bought apartments here in Alanya. We bought it when it was off plan. It hadn't even been built yet. And then we would come here on holidays a couple of times a year with our families. And then later, getting near retirement age, my husband, Robert and I decided that we'd like to come and live here permanently because the climate here is beautiful, the people are lovely, and we absolutely love it here in Turkey. Since the COVID-19 pandemic has started, how has it affected daily life here? Initially, it took a little bit of getting used to, but we adhere to the rules. Um, I go out daily to do our shopping, and also I help our elder, older neighbours who are over 65. I do also their shopping for them. Um, apart from that, we have the freedom to walk around here and apart from maybe going to the beach every day or swimming in the pool, life still goes on very nicely for us, I have to say. What sort of restrictions have the Turkish government put in place and how do you think that they're handling the situation? Well, I think the biggest restriction that's helped a lot is the intercity travelling. Stopping that obviously is helping a lot to stopping the spread of the virus. Uh, the other restriction would be a curfew on the weekend. Other than that curfew on the weekend, our lives hasn't really changed that much here. We can still get all that we need. We can still, there's still plenty of food in, in, in the shops. We can get to the shop, we can go to the banks. We can take, take care of day-to-day -day business. What sort of assistance is the Turkish government offering, not only for their own citizens, but for the expats that live here? Because of the restrictions on all people over 65 and under 20, the government have given a helpline for people to call so that they can get any shopping delivered, um, any banking done, bills paid, any medication they need. The government can organise um, their people to come and deliver the things for them. The restrictions also mean that people can help their neighbours by we do shopping for them and the staff here also so very helpful. They will also go and do uh, banking and get medicines, any bits of shopping for the, any residents here. So everybody is very helpful and nothing is too much trouble. For anybody here. I think one of the most important services that the uh, government has implemented, not just for the Turkish people but for all foreigners, is that anybody that has any uh, any effects from this COVID virus, it's all medical assistance is free. I think that's very amazing for any country to have that, for all foreigners including. Locally here, uh, when you go to the markets, there's a open markets twice a week. If you don't have a mask, they are giving the masks out before you enter the market. I've seen them where they are disinfecting the streets, great big tankers of water and disinfecting, hosing down complete streets and sidewalks. So the measures that they're taking uh, throughout the whole country and here locally, which we see on a daily basis, are quite amazing. Is there anything that you would like to finally say to any of our viewers that are watching? Well, all I can say that for anybody who's watching, if you have friends or family that are living here or staying here long term, do not worry about us. We are, ta we are being taken care of very, very well. We're adhering to the curfew rules and we're keeping safe. So we are, we are still living a lovely life here. Uh, Rob and Jackie, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us today. It's been very, very helpful. Thank you for watching our video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our video. Thank you very much. <laughs>